Hello everybody and welcome to our live Friday session. It's 4.30 p.m. in the UK and I chose this time because I thought it would be really, really wonderful for all our American friends to be able to come and do this session live. So I'm sending lots of love to everybody but it's an especial welcome to all my American friends who I know have tuned in. So I know we've got Lisa in Phoenix, uh, Phoenixville, isn't it? We've got lots of people from California, from New York, from Washington. So I want to say a big thank you for joining me. And isn't it nice that for once we can work out together live at the same time? So if you haven't done my live before, this is how we work it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get started very shortly. So we're going to do a half an hour of standing Pilates. So I'm going to do lots of work for the legs, for the glutes, for balances, stretches, all kinds of stuff like that. And then after that, I come and sit back down here. And that's when I can go on the chat and I can talk to you all. So if you have any questions, you can put those in that live chat. If you look at the side of your screen, you'll see your live chat is kind of scrolling up with people writing in and saying hello. You'll also see a name in blue which says Kerwin Hack. Kerwin Hack is my husband and he helps me out with this. So you can fire off questions to him while I'm doing the class if you want to and he'll respond and he'll make a note and he'll bring it all into me afterwards so I can go through everything with you. All right, so it's so good to do this. I'm really excited about this one because I know there's different people watching who are not used to seeing me live. So it's really nice to be able to interact with you. So today we're doing standing Pilates. You don't need anything at all. You just need a little bit of space. So shall we get started? Let's do it. All right, so you're going to come onto your mat. If you've got a mat, you don't need a mat, but if you want to, you can stand on your mat. We're going to have our feet hip width apart. All right, so think about just looking down from where your hip bones are. So not so much the side of the hips, but it's those hip bones at the front. That's how we align ourselves in Pilates. So you want your feet right underneath those hip bones, all right? We're gonna pull the tummy muscles in and just tuck under with the pelvis. If I go sideways to show you, rather than letting ourselves be forward like this, we're pulling in here and we're tucking under here. You see how I get a nice length and spine there, all right? That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna start with the head and shoulders. We're gonna work our way down today, all right? So let's start by bringing the shoulders up, back, and around, up, back, and around, up, back, and around, up, back, and around, two more, up, back, and round, and up, back, and round. Now you're gonna breathe in to lift the arms up, and then you're gonna breathe out, you're gonna reach the arms out, I want you to really stretch out through those hands and fingers. So inhale up, exhale out. Inhale up and exhale out. Good. Inhale up, exhale out. And one more time. Inhale up and exhale out. We're going to take the shoulders the other way. So squeeze them back first of all, then bring them up and over. So squeeze up and over. Squeeze up and over. Squeeze up and over. Squeeze up and over. Two more. Squeeze up and over. And squeeze up and over. Now you're going to inhale, taking the arms out to the side, and then exhale, bring them forward. So nice deep breath in. And exhale, coming forward. Good. Inhale. And exhale forward. Inhale out. And exhale forward. And one more. Inhale. And exhale forward. Good. Now let those arms rest by your side. Little exercise for the neck muscles because these can get very tense. And this is about learning to let go of these. So we tense them, we bring the shoulders up to the ears. 
and then we're going to drop and let them go. Just let them drop down. So inhale up. Exhale, drop them down. Inhale up. And drop them down. You want to be as relaxed as you can be on that drop. So just ah, let them go. Inhale up and drop them down. Inhale up and drop them down. One more. Inhale up and drop them down. All right, on to the neck. We're going to do a little stretch over. So I want you to tilt your head over to the right. Try and keep your shoulders nice and still so you feel the stretch through here. And then you're going to come on up. Other way, so we're going to go over and up. If you want to add the breathing, we inhale to go over and exhale up. Inhale over and exhale up. Inhale over and exhale up. And one more inhale over. And exhale up. Now we're going to turn and look to our right. So gentle rotation through the neck. And then coming back to the center. And the other way over. And back to the center. Good. So looking to our right. And back to the center. Over. And center. Last two. Over. And center, and over, and center. Now you're going to bring your hands up onto your shoulders. You're going to stretch out the chest now. So you're going to bring your elbows together like this. Lift them up, and then reach them all the way back. So you feel that stretch right here, OK? So we're going to come together, up, and back. Together, up, and back. Together, up and back, together up, and back, together up, and back, one more, up, and back, now let those neck muscles relax, let those shoulders drop down, but let's reach the arms out to the side, now we're going to add a stretch to this, you're going to bring the arms forward, crossing the right over the left, and then you're going to reach them back, <sighs> left over right, reaching back, <sighs> That's it, and go, and cross, and back, cross, and back, cross, and back, and four, three, two, one, and bring your arms down by your side. It's a really nice stretch, isn't it, that one? Okay, so we're going to go on to a little stretch of the side of the body now, okay? So we're going to start by having the hands on the thighs, and you're just going to slide that right hand down the thigh. So you can feel how we're getting the stretch through here. You're going to go as far as you're able to without the body rounding forward. And then you're going to exhale, pull the tummy in to come back up. Then we're going to go the other way. So you're going to inhale, over, and exhale, coming up. So nice and gentle. This is all about getting everything moving, feeling good, and up. Inhale, over, and exhale, up. Good. Inhale, over, and exhale up, and inhale over, and exhale up. Now we're going to take our hands behind our head, interlace our fingers, and then you're going to draw the head back into the hands. If I was to go sideways, what I want you to look for is, rather than the head being forward, you're pulling that head back into the hands. Can you see how that elongates? my spine, all right? So I want you to try that yourselves. And then we're gonna add a rotation. So you can imagine that below your waist is in concrete. You can only rotate from here upwards. So you're gonna take a breath in and you're gonna exhale, a little rotation to the right. Try to keep those hips facing forward. And inhale, come back to center. Exhale, rotate the other way and inhale to center. So it's exhale to rotate, and inhale to center. 
Exhale to rotate. And inhale, center. We'll do four more. Rotate. And center. Exhale, rotate. And center. Last two. And center. And rotate. And center. Well done. Bring your hands down. Check your feet are still facing forward. And we're going to do our knee bends. Now, what I want you to think about with these, I know you've all done these when you've done my standing Pilates uh, for seniors workouts, is making sure that when you go forward, when you bend those knees, they don't kind of do this, or equally, they don't do that. You want them just going forward over the toes. All right, because then we're working evenly down through the knee joint. Very important that. So we're tucking under. We're going to inhale to bend. And we're going to exhale to come up. I'm going to go sideways for you. So it's inhale, bend. And exhale, up. Inhale, bend. And exhale, up. So it's... And you just bend as much as feels okay for you. Yeah, if your knees are a little uncomfortable... Obviously, don't bend as far. Just do what works for you. And up. Bend and up. Two more. Bend and up. And bend and up. And then from there, you're going to go up onto your toes. All right, so we're going to inhale, lifting up. This is our balance. And exhale down. As you can see, I don't always balance either. So inhale up. And exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, up. And lower down. So those arms are just coming up to shoulder height. And down. And one more. And down. Let's do our second set of knee bends. So we're going to inhale, bend. And exhale, up. Inhale, bend. And exhale, up. Good. Bend and up. Inhale, bend and up. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. And up, up onto the toes now. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And lower. So this really is working the calf muscles, all the muscles and bones in the feet. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Last one, and lift. And lower. Well done. I'm going to take our legs a little wider now. All right. And we are going to turn our legs out a little. And when we turn those legs out, we want to be doing it from the hips, not from the knees. So the way I tend to teach this when I teach a live class or when I used to teach live in person is to start with the feet facing forward. And then you lift the toes up on the right foot and just try and swivel the leg out from the hip. And wherever it will go to, that's where you stop, all right? Same on the other side, lift the toes up, little swivel out. And then the idea is when we bend those knees, once again, the knees are going over the toes, okay? So you're gonna inhale to bend and take the arms out to the side and exhale up. And you bend as much as feels okay. Obviously I'm quite flexible, so it's easier for me to go down. But if that's uncomfortable, you just go to wherever is okay, all right? So inhale, bend, exhale up. Inhale, bend, and exhale up. Two more, bend and up and bend and up. I'm going to add a side stretch. So you're going to bring the right arm up. You're going to stretch over to the side. You're going to lift and lower down. Other way, up and over and lift and lower down. Up and over, lift and lower down, good. Up 
and over. So you can that lovely stretch through the body. It's also working the spine. Really, really important for us all. And over. Lift and lower down. Last one. Up and over. Lift and lower down. Now we're going to do a second set, but this time, if you can, arms coming all the way up and then pressing down. So you're going to inhale, bend. Exhale, press down. Inhale, bend and down. Inhale and exhale. Now think of pressing down like you're pressing through water. So you get a little bit of tension in the arms. That works the arm muscles as well. Two more. Then we're going to bring our arm up, little side stretch over, lift and lower down. Other way, up and over, lift and lower down. Good. Up and over, lift and lower down. Up and over, lift and lower down. Last two, up and over. Lift and lower down and up, over, lift and lower down. Well done. Let's bring those feet back in, back to our standing neutral position. And we're going to do a roll down. So this is a standing roll down. So once again, pull the tummy in, tuck your bottom under, hands by your side. Now think of your spine as really nice and long. And imagine that you are against a wall, all right? And we're going to try and bend away from that wall. So you're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out. Take the chin to the chest. I want you to just soften your knees. Pull your tummies in and just start to roll forward. So we're just flexing forward, letting the arms hang, letting the head hang. Taking a deep breath in at the bottom. We're going to breathe out, draw the tummy muscles in. And slowly come all the way up through the spine to a nice standing posture. Let's do that again. So inhale and exhale, chin to the chest, rolling down, softening the knees. So hopefully you're feeling a stretch in your spines and in the back of your legs. Inhale and exhale. Coming back. Up, last one, deep breath in, and exhale, turn to the chest, into the knees, and coming down, inhale, and exhale, coming all the way back up. Okay, let's do some more balance work, all right? So we're going to have our right leg forward, I'm just going to come back a little just so you can see me. All right, so right leg forward, tummy muscles in, and we're going to take our arms out to the side. This is where we have to really concentrate on our balance. It's going to really work your standing leg. So think of lifting up through this hip, tummy muscles in, and then you're going to exhale to float that leg up, and inhale, tap the toes on the floor. So we're going to exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. You're doing great. Keep going. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Last two. Lift. And lower. Last one, lift and lower down. Well done, changing legs. So when I start singing in soprano, that's when I'm losing my balance. All right, so happens to us all. Here we go. So tummy muscles in, tucking under. Take the arms out, palms up. And here we go. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four more. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Last two. 
and lower and lift and lower. Well done. Bring those arms down. We're going to take the leg to the side now. We're going to do a little bit of work for the side of the leg, side of the hip. This also works for the core as well. So think again of pulling all the way up through that standing leg. And we're going to try and keep the weight on this leg while we lift this one. All right, so we're going to have our hands down, our palms facing forward, shoulders drawing down and back. So really think of opening out across the chest here, okay? And then we're going to exhale a little lift. Inhale to lower. It doesn't have to be high, it's just getting it off the ground, that counts, all right? Exhale, lift and lower, lift and lower, we're going to do four more, and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, one more, lift and lower, changing sides, here we go. All right, so same again. I always talk about kind of setting the body. It's like the sense that, okay, I'm drawing my core in. I'm feeling where I am in space. Hands down. It's like you're preparing for the movement. You'll get a lot more out of it if you do that. All right, so take a breath in. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift. And lower, four more, and lift, and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, last one, and lift, and lower, well done. All right, we're going to take that leg behind us. I will go sideways, because I know I don't want the video, but you probably want to see what's going on. So I've got my right leg forward, my left leg back. All right, and I'm pulling the tummy in, but if you can see, I'm keeping my back as straight as possible, and I'm making sure the knee's over the ankle, not over the toes. That's really important, all right, when you set this one up. And then I'm going to bring my hands forward, palms facing out to counteract the weight of the leg. And then it's a little lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four, three, two, and one, and lower down. Very good. Let's do the other side. All right. So again, reset that body. So we're bending that front knee, tongue is in, we're leaning forward, and then arms coming forward. And then from there, we're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, and four, three, two, one, and down. Well done. I'm going to stay sideways. You can face me. And we're going to do a little roll down, but extending the spine this time. So we're tucking under, hands by our side. You're going to take a breath in, and you're going to breathe out, taking chin to the chest, bending the knees, and rolling down, just letting everything hang. All right, so you're nice and relaxed at this point. Now we're going to engage the core, engage the back muscles by reaching those arms forward and trying to create a nice flat back. You're going to bend the knees, push up through those legs, arms up, and then out to the side. And let's go again. So take a breath in. Breathing out into the chest, bending the knees and coming down. Reach those arms forward, bend those knees, pushing up, and arms out to the side. One more time, deep breath in, and exhale, chin to the chest, rolling down, all the way down. Reach those arms out, nice straight back. See if you can hold it here for a moment. Take a breath in, and then push him up through those legs and arms out to the side. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take the arms behind us now and interlace the fingers. 
And try just think of drawing those arms down so you can feel that stretch coming into the front of the shoulders. All right, and then what we're gonna do from here is keep a straight back, but soften the knees, so bending the knees, pull your tummies in, now hinge from the hips, so keeping your back straight, you're hinging from the hips, you can feel it's almost like you're sticking your bottom out, and you're gonna come forward and see if you can reach those hands over so you can feel that stretch through the shoulders. Then release the grip, bring your hands down, take a breath in, and exhale, coming all the way up. Let's try that again. So hands behind and reach them down, feeling the stretch in the front of the chest, bend the knees, and now let's hinge forward, reaching forward, feeling the stretch. Now just keep going, just imagine those arms would go all the way over your head, and then release the hands, take a breath in, breathe out, and coming back up. One last time, hands behind you. And reach those arms out, feeling that nice stretch. You're gonna bend your knees, and we're gonna hinge forward, hinging forward. Keep going, keep going, keep going, as far as you can go, over. That's it, then release the hands, coming all the way down, take a deep breath in, and exhale. All the way up, well done. All right, so from there, you're going to come back to facing me and you're going to bring your right leg forward and we're going to be daring now and we'll try a little bit more of a challenge for me too. All right, so we're going to do a little circle with the knee. So you're going to take your arms out to the side. We're going to think of kind of standing or lifting through the standing leg. You're going to bring the knee up and circle it around. Up and circle around. So it's like you're trying to draw a circle with your kneecaps. So you're gonna go up and circle around. Up and circle around. Up and around. It's tricky, isn't it? Up and around. Two more. Up and around. Last one. Up and around. How did that go? Tricky, very tricky. I like to sneak these ones in because they're, uh, they're not always fun, but they're good for you. All right, so take the palms up, let's stand nice and tall. And now we're gonna lift up and circle it around. So knee comes up and circle around. Up and around. Up and around. Up and around. Up. And around. up and around, two more, up and around, and up and around. Well done, okay, come back to your standing posture. All right, tummy muscles in, let's do a little bit of work for the arms and shoulders. So all you're gonna do is bring the arm forward, lift it up, and as it goes back, I want you to rotate and follow it with your eyes. So you're gonna come up, so you're getting that nice movement through the spine, forward and take it back. Forward and back, that's it. Forward and back. Forward and back, two more. And up and back, good. Let's do the other arm, so bring it forward, lift it up, and as it goes behind you, follow that hand. Up and back, up and back, up and back, up. And back, good, for four, three, two, or one, and back. Now you're going to bring those arms forward, wrists now, so we're going to circle them out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and in, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hands on the hips. Let's bring that right foot forward. We're going to lift that foot up. We're going to circle the ankle or the foot out. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight, and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Changing sides. Here we go. So lifting the foot up and circle it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Bring those feet down. And I can't believe it. We've already done half an hour. So let's tuck our pelvis under and let's do some nice roll downs to finish this session today. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest. Bend your knees and just rolling down nice and easy. All the way down to the floor. Inhale. And then exhale. Coming all the way up. Good. Deep breath in. And exhale, chin to the chest, bending the knees and rolling down. Inhale. And exhale. As you come up, and one more deep breath in. And exhale, chin to the chest, bending the knees, rolling down. Well done. Inhale. And exhale. Coming all the way up to standing. And there you go, little curtsy. That's you done for today. So that was our 30 minute standing Pilates for seniors. All right, so I'm gonna come and talk to you now. So this is the fun bit. This is where we get to chat to each other. Um, so first thing I wanted to remind you was, Oh, my husband's walking in. Hello, dear. Thank you very much. With some notes is do press. If you enjoyed that session, do press the like button and let us know because this is our first time trying one at this time of day. Um, so it's a kind of bit of an experiment just to see if you like it. So I'm adjusting my hair because I just got my hair cut today and I'm just checking it. <laughs> anyway. If you liked it, please press the thumbs up button. And as promised, this is an afternoon tea party. So you can't really do that without a cup of tea, can you? So I'm going to get my, as you can see, thank you, darling. That's my cup of tea. That's my husband, little way from him. So this is my cup of tea. So I'm all ready. If you want to uh, give me any questions, you want to say hello, uh, answer any uh, queries that you might have, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put my tea down for a second and just say to you, um, it's been great to have you here. Let me know if you like this, okay? Because if you do like it, then it's something that we could give you in the future. Uh, but it's kind of needing to know, really, because I'm hoping that for our American friends, this time is working for you. I'm going to start by going through the messages my husband's written down from the chat. And do feel free to uh, write any messages in the chat as well. Um, so I'm going to say quick hellos. We've got Martha from Texas. Hello, Martha in Texas. Lovely to have you here. We have Laurie from Illinois. Oh, I love the sound of all these places. Amazing. Hello, Laurie. We have Marsha from Calgary. Hey, Marsha. We have Maria from San Juan. Uh, San Juan Capistrano, is that correct? I hope so. Sounds amazing, wherever that is. Karen from South Florida. Mary from Mullica Hill in New Jersey. Wow, all our lovely American friends. Patty from California, and Patty's already said, can I do this again? Patty, yes, I will. I would happily do this again for you. Uh, we have Mary from, uh, Mary Margaret from Cambridge in Massachusetts. Hello there, Mary. Lisa from Phoenixville. Lisa, that's Lisa Kay, I think, isn't it, from Phoenixville, who always, I have to say Lisa, always leaves me wonderful messages. And everybody, it's Lisa's birthday tomorrow. So uh, Lisa, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. Happy birthday to you. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much, Lisa. And thank you for your support. Uh, Marion has written in and said she does my classes 
every morning. Well, that's amazing. Well done, Marion. And you know what, guys? When times are hard, and I know it's incredibly hard for everyone, you know, I have lots and lots of uh, YouTube friends in the UK, in London, a particular area of London, Chiswick, uh, which is pretty much where I spent most of my time. Um, we're all finding it difficult, aren't we, dealing with this continuing uh, pandemic that we have. And that's why I do this, is I do this to try and keep our spirits up, hopefully to add a little bit of cheer to your day. Uh, so do feel free to say hi to each other or send me a message and I will go through all of the chat shortly and answer those. I'm just reading out the initial ones. Um, so uh, that's what Marion was doing all my classes. So well done, Marion. And what I was going to say was keep your exercise going because in times like these, you can start to feel really down. I mean, here in the UK, we've our clocks have gone back, which means now at just after five, it's already really dark outside. It's been raining all day. It's really quite dreary and it can make you feel really like, oh, like this. So exercise is one of those things that it boosts the happy hormones, all right? And that's why it's really, really good for you. Not only that it's good for you physically, but it's good for you up here. It just makes you feel a little bit brighter, a little bit happier. So that's what I'm trying to bring you is a bit of kind of inner sunshine, if you like, every week over here on uh, YouTube. So William uh, from California. Hi, William. You're a Pilates teacher looking for ideas. Well, William, I hope you liked what you saw today. Today was particularly for seniors. Um, I've been teaching seniors. Uh, I started a seniors class. Well, I've been teaching Pilates for 10 years and I've been doing it for nearly, oh my goodness, how many years? 25 now, something like that. Um, and I've done lots of sort of apart from my initial training, which I actually did do in California. Um, you do know Bazzi, William? I don't know if you know Bazzi, but there are uh, there's they're the people I trained with in um, in Newport, California. And yes, I've done lots of training. And one of the classes I found the most satisfying to teach was the seniors because it's so beneficial exercise is good for everyone but for seniors it's much harder to access and a lot of people just don't do those exercises but I do because I think it really matters so I hope you enjoyed it William and do go check out all my other videos I've got lots of ideas on there all the live streams I've been doing a live stream Pilates for the lot since the lockdown started just to give people something to do every Friday and every single one of those is a different workout. So feel free to go ahead, check them out and see if you can take something from them. And do let me know, William, I'd love to know. Um, okay, Viviana. Viviana uh, has a question. Viviana says, is the class safe for plantar fasciitis? Uh, absolutely, Viviana. So if you've got plantar fasciitis, I hope you've seen a physical therapist, but you know you have to with plantar fasciitis. Those are people who don't know what it is. It's a sort of irritation and inflammation under the feet. It's incredibly uncomfortable and painful. Um, and this is absolutely fine. I mean, you probably find, depending on what level of pain you've got, you may want to do it in your shoes. So you've got that arch support because it's very important to have your feet supported if you have plantar fasciitis but yeah it's absolutely fine for that so um hopefully that helps you virgo oh hello virgo virgo was with me this morning virgo is in the algarve in portugal and you're wishing me all the best for my operation well thank you yes you guys won't know but i did announce this morning that unfortunately i have to go into hospital next week to have a foot operation and I've been waiting for a long, long, long time in the UK to have it. And also with COVID, it's been delayed. But I'm going to go in on Monday for that. So I'm going to be out of action for a little while. But don't worry, because there'll be plenty of videos to watch on YouTube. And my plan is to be back a week, uh, two weeks today. So two weeks today, I'll be back doing my usual live at 10 a.m. For those of you who are watching from uh, across the pond, 
I want you to let me know in the comments if you would like to see this again, because if I have enough interest and enough if you want to take part, then this is something that I might be able to put on for you as well on a Friday. All right, so do let me know. All right, going down, uh, Margaret has asked. Margaret says, will my balance improve as my core gets stronger? And the answer is yes, Margaret, it will. So the core is the center of the body. The core, lots of people think we always put a hand on our stomach, don't we, here. Uh, but the core is actually not just the front. It's the side, it's the back, and it's all the muscles that support the spine, so it's almost kind of all around here. So when you get stronger around here, you'll find walking gets easier, getting up, getting down gets easier, and balance gets easier. But with your balance, as you could see with me today, balance comes and goes, and it is something you have to work on. You can't just sort of try it once and think, oh, okay, I've done that one now, and it's all good. Balance is a daily practice. Yeah, so think about trying to get something in every day, even if it's just 10 minutes. Um, all the work we did today, a lot of that standing work was for balance. All the work with the legs, the feet, lifting the heels, all that kind of stuff. That's all to improve your balance, to strengthen your feet, to strengthen your ankles, to strengthen your calf muscles, your thigh muscles, your bottom muscles, your hip muscles, and your core. All of those you need for your balance, okay? So yes, it will help. And um, practice, practice, practice is what I'm gonna recommend. Uh, Sally Ann has sent me good wishes for next week as well. Thank you very much, Sally Ann. And Ruth says she appreciates the timing for my Canadian friends. Well, Ruth, I'm delighted to be able to be here with you live at a time when you can all join me as well. I think it's wonderful because I know I have lots of friends over. I keep saying the other side of the pond. Do we say that now? That's kind of what we always used to say in the UK. But um, it's lovely to be able to do this for you live and to know that you're all watching. So all good. Now I'm going to have a look at the chat. Um, just to say that on the chat, if you look at the chat uh, scrolling up the side of your screen, you will see down the bottom that I've got super chats uh, and super stickers engaged, which means if you want to say thank you for today by way of a donation, you can do that. And you can press either of those and choose any amount of money you like. I think it starts from 99 cents or something like that. Um, if you want to, there is no obligation to do that. But if you wanted to donate, then please go ahead and do that. You'll see that there are people who are donating because they light up. And I'm just going to go back because I've missed some of those people and I haven't said my thank yous. And it's very important. So Yvonne Thorpe, Yvonne Thorpe, hello Yvonne. It's your second visit today, isn't it? Because Yvonne was with me this morning and Yvonne is dated 4 99 Thank you very much, Yvonne, much appreciated. And can you see her great emoji, everyone? She's got a little person doing dumbbells, which is really cute. So thank you for that, Yvonne, really appreciate it. And then we're just scrolling down. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at all your questions shortly, just going down and want to say, William Collins has donated 4.99. I'm loving your emoji, William, it's just like a little, Dancy emoji, so thank you very much. Much appreciated, William. Lovely to have you here, because I know you're a new name, so it's nice to see you there, thank you. And then scrolling down, we have Bren. Bren Hillary has donated three pounds, and she's given me a thumbs up. Bren, thank you very much, that is really appreciated. Nice to see your name, we haven't seen you for a little while, I think. All right, so I'm going to go and look at the questions now. So if you have any questions, this is your time to fire them off. Um, so I'm just going down through the chat. Um, oh, wow, we've got so many people here. So Mary Margaret C. Graves is in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and it's snowing there. Oh, my goodness, that sounds amazing. That sounds very Christmassy. Um, I'm hoping 
uh, that you're feeling okay, Mar Margaret, uh, Mary, after your session. I'm really glad that you enjoyed the timing working for you today. So I think we will try and do this a little more often. Uh, Judy Buxton. Judy's a friend in Chiswick in West London. Hello, Judy. Lovely to have you here. And it was your second session. Wow. Judy's done two today. She did my one this morning and this one, which is fantastic. So lovely to have you here, Judy. Uh, Patty in California. Patty says, I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to do your class live for the first time. It's a much more reasonable hour here, 9.30 in the morning, not the middle of the night. Lots of, uh, lo lol. Okay, love that. Yes, I'm really glad. <laughs> really glad that worked for you, Patty. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, okay, we're going down. Um, Yvonne Thorpe, who donated, it's also her second session today. So she was here with me this morning too. I remember that, Yvonne. So thank you for that. Going down, Caroline Ford. Bless you, Caroline. I know you were here this morning as well. Second round for you too. Oh, I had to work off the croissant. Yes, because I did confess this morning that after my morning session on a Friday, not every Friday, but on some Fridays, I have an almond croissant. It's one of my favorite things, treat things. I know they're full of sugar, but every now and then you have to treat yourself. So yes, Caroline, I feel I've worked off the croissant today. <laughs> uh, lovely to have you here. So Linda, eyes and water. Linda, I've seen you before. I recognize your name. Hello from Southport, Merseyside. Hello, Linda in Merseyside. How are you doing up there? I hope you're okay. Um, I know you've got tougher restrictions than us down south at the moment. So I hope you're holding up okay. And it's so lovely to see your name. Lovely to have you here. Uh, wonderful. So going down. I'm looking uh, for questions and from London back again for another session. Wishing me the very best for next week. We'll be thinking of you. Oh, and thank you very much indeed. That's so nice. And I really appreciate that. Yeah, I think I'm going to be hobbling around for a while. But you know me, I don't like to miss my Pilates. So one way or the other, I will be back as soon as I can be. Okay, going down. So if you look in the chat, everyone, you can see that my husband has put up a link for Kofi. So for those of you that don't know, I have a creator's donation page. It's called Kofi, which is K-O hyphen F-I. And it's where you can buy me a virtual cup of coffee, which essentially is a donation of three pounds, which I think is around five US dollars, Canadian dollars, maybe two. It's like the price of a cup of coffee. Um, and that the money that I get in Kofi, I don't keep that money. I use it to invest in the studio. So for those of you who haven't heard me say this before, and I do apologize if you have heard me say this, but what looks lovely behind me is one little corner of our garage. So if I look over there, there's a big up and over garage door and the wind blows through there. In front of me are two other doors. And what I'm hoping to do is raise enough money to insulate the garage and fill in across the door so I can double the width of the studio. So you can see at the moment, what I've got behind me is the width of a mat. All right, so what's that? Seven, uh, seven, eight feet, something like that. And what we want to do is almost double it, which will mean I can have the camera further back and it means I can do more workouts because I've got more space to work in. So if you'd like to help uh, get my studio up and running on a bigger scale, then Kofi is the place to donate. And I mentioned more kind of personal stuff goes on that really. Kind of tell you what's happening, you know, with the garage, how far we've got. And you'll see I've got a goal on there and how much money I've raised. I think I've got today something like 39% of what I need to buy the insulation for the garage because we're gonna insulate it all so it's nice and warm for the winter. Uh, so if you want to help on that, that would be much appreciated. All right, coming down, I'm gonna say hello to Pam Jones. Pam is in Cumbria. Uh, enjoyed the build up to the session, that's great. Pam, it's lovely to have you here. 
I hope you enjoyed it today. Um, I think you're a new name as well. So I hope you're going to come back uh, and join us again. Do let me know because uh, I love to get feedback, what you liked, etc. Uh, Jewel 9121, afternoon workout, just what I need. Yes, to wake up. Ah, good. Well, I hope it did wake you up. Nice, gentle session, but got everything moving, didn't it? That's what we like. Um, right, going down, Laurie. Laurie Burns, hi, from Northern Illinois. So excited. This works with the time difference. Well, it's lovely to see you, Laurie. How did you find the class? Hope it was good for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's amazing because I see all these names and for some people who've been doing my lives in the morning, I start to recognize the names. It's really nice just to know that everyone's out there. Like, in case you want to know, today, during this session, there's been just over 200 people doing the session live, and there's still nearly 200 watching uh, from all over the world. So there's people from London, uh, Yorkshire, Manchester, Liverpool, uh, Gretna Green. Uh, we've got people from Portugal, people from Spain, and then we've got all these lovely people in Canada and the US as well. It's really nice to kind of bring you all together for a change. So we will definitely be doing this again, I think. Um, going down, we're going to see, oh, I'm just having a look at some other familiar names. We've got Martha, who's from Midland in Texas. Hello, Martha. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Lily Mars. Lily Mars oh, says, hola, from Spain. Hello, Lily Mars. Lovely to have you here. Lily is a fabulous Twitter friend. So I do, I am on Twitter. If anyone is on Twitter, you'll find me there under the girl with the Pilates mat. And I do tweet, um, well, not as much as I used to. I need to pick up on that. But maybe three times a week, something like that. Lily's on Twitter, so we chat a lot on Twitter. Lovely to have you here, Lily. And I just wanted to say a big thank you, uh, Lily, for tweeting about me and telling people about me because it all really, really helps grow my channel. And that's the plan is I want to make this bigger and better and be able to give you more of this kind of well-being, happy, healthy kind of fitness. All right. So thank you very much, Lily. Uh, Margaret Flynn in Massachusetts, USA says, so happy to have found you. Well, I'm very happy to have found you too. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Maria Boyd. Hello, Maria Boyd. Ah, I can see the spelling now. San Juan Capistrano, which sounds like the most amazing place. I wonder if you're by the beach. It sounds very exotic, Maria. Um, but thank you for coming. And it's so lovely to have you here. Um, okay, let's go down. We're seeing Marsha's in Calgary, Alberta. Really enjoyed my videos. I'm really glad that, Marsha, and isn't it nice to be live for a change, which is good. Karen in South, South Florida, in the house, says Karen. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Lovely to have you here. Uh, who else have we got here? Margaret says she's doing this later because she's just taken her dog for a walk. Very good. Well, let me know, Margaret, what you think of it later. Super duper. All right, we're going down the chat now. Uh, Marion Dunn really enjoyed the practice every morning. That's great to hear. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, William, you're the Pilates teacher. I can just see your message now. You teach, oh, okay, fabulous. You've been teaching senior classes and you're looking for inspiration. Well, I hope you found it today. Uh, good, glad to hear that you also teach senior classes because that's very important. Okay, Viviana. Uh, can you tell me, oh yes, we talked to we about your plantar fasciitis, making sure, actually on that note, Viviana, are you doing your stretches? Really important with uh, plantar fasciitis is to stretch 
the calf muscles. So anything where you are, can I put my feet up? That's probably okay. Yeah, anything where you are stretching in this direction because you want to get the stretch down through here and into here, which is the area where the pain is. So things like using the flexi band is really good. But also if you can stand on a step, just make sure you hold on to something and gently lower those heels down and up. That's a very good way to just really gently get into that area. Um, okay, let's go down and see who else we've got here. Uh, Margaret Flynn, we've spoken to you about your balance. Sally Ann, you sending me best wishes, wishes and positive energy for next week and every week. Well, thank you. That's very kind indeed. Ruth Trail, is that the correct? I hope I've said that right. Hello, Ruth. You are in Toronto, Ontario. Although I need to do this workout later, I do appreciate you timing this for your Canadian friends. Well, you're very welcome, Ruth. All right, Anna McDougall. Hello, Anna. Uh, Anna says, I'm sorry I missed this. I completely forgot. I'll try and do it tomorrow. Well, that's all right, Anna, because Anna actually did my workout this morning as well. So not a problem. Do let me know what you thought of it. Um, okay, going down the chat, Patty Kino. Patty Kino. Hello, Patty. Patty says, wonderful class. I hope you plan to do this again as this more reasonable hour in California. By the way, I love your accent. I, I'm very British, aren't I? Yes. I'm really glad you like my accent. And yes, Patty, I will. I promise I will do this again. Um, and I'm loving the uh, Halloween emojis. Can everyone see these Halloween emojis coming up on the tweet? Lisa Kay, fabulous. It did go fast, didn't it, Lisa? It always does. It, it just half an hour goes just like that. Uh, Sangeeta, two in one day. Well done, Sangeeta. Sangeeta's a UK friend. Lisa is a US friend. So lovely to see you there. Yvonne thought that was fabulous and thanks for doing it. You're very, very welcome. Uh, oh, Margaret, Mary Margaret Seagrave says, that was super. Would you please answer a question about the squishy ball? How full should it be? That's a great question. Squishy ball. Okay, so luckily I have it here. Mary Margaret Seagraves. Squishy ball. So, um, yeah, Mary's referring to, I have some videos. For those of you that have this or want to get one of these, they don't cost much. So in the UK, they're between five and seven pounds. So I guess in the US, what would that be? Ten-ish dollars, maybe? something like that, they're not expensive at all. Um, and it's called a squishy ball, because can you see, I can really squish it. So this is a seven inch ball. And if I put my hand underneath, you can kind of see the size. If I put it next to my head, you can see the size, all right? And then I'm gonna show you how squished I have it. Can you see if I press down there to what size it gets? That's kind of how much squish you want. All right, so you want to feel that, especially when you're putting it under your spine, it gives a little. And if any of you want to know why we use this and why I do a class with this, it's because this is really, really good for people that want to work their core on a slightly deeper level. And on the classes that I do, I use this between the knees, under the back, between the ankles, all kinds of things which work all the inner muscles of the legs, pelvic floor muscle and all of the core and it's also a great aid to lie on and to do back extensions because it kind of supports your back so if you're someone that has problems lying on your front lifting your back the squidgy ball is a great one because you can lie on it and then use that as a little prop to help you so I hope that Help to Mary. Um, okay, just going down the chat. Zena, hello, Zena. Zena, never too old. I'm loving that handle, Zena. What a great attitude. That's so fabulous. Good time, good for first time live. Do one every day. Great. Well, I'm really glad to hear you do my sessions every day. All right, we're going down the chat. 
Sangeeta says, often forget to breathe. Does the rule always apply of holding stomach in when exhaling and out when inhaling? Does that apply with standing work and on mat work? Thanks, Sangeeta. Well, what a fantastic question, because breathing is one of those things that people get really confused with in Pilates, because Pilates breathing is the opposite of natural breathing. So uh, with Pilates breathing, we exhale, well, the way I describe it is exhaling on the effort, that's a good way to remember it, and on the exhale, that's when you're pulling everything in. And yes, Sangeeta, it applies basically through all Pilates. So in my view, I do it whether I'm standing, lying, sitting, whatever position I'm in, I exhale and draw the abdominals in. And the reason that Joseph Pilates invented it that way or created that, it's a slightly forced movement. And the idea is that forcing out of the breath and the pulling in of the abdominals really kind of works all the muscles in here. So that's what that's all about. So what that means essentially is even if you're doing the simplest exercises, standing, but you're doing that breathing, you are still exercising your core. So you're getting the benefit of that core work. So yes, that was a great question. And hopefully that answered it for you, Sankita. Um, okay, Kim Miller, hello. Really enjoyed that. A great time for me to do a live class. Thank you. You're very welcome, Kim. Uh, Betsy. Betsy is saying, is there an easy way to remember when to inhale and when to exhale? Thank you. I've been waiting for this one. Okay, so yes, that's my best way, best recommendation. Uh, Betsy is think of exhaling on the effort. So the hardest part of the exercise is when you breathe out. So if you were lifting your chest, you breathe in to prepare, you breathe out to lift up. If you're standing and doing a roll down, you inhale to repair, to prepare, and you exhale to roll down. So exhale on the effort. Hope that helps you. Um, Laura is saying, I hope we'll do more for the US. This was great. And thank you, Kerwin. Yes, thank you, Kerwin, my husband. I'm going to thank him as well because he does a great job helping out with the chat here. All right. So I'm going to have to sign off shortly. I'm just going to go down quickly and say hi to Chris Kim in Maryland. Uh, hi to JKL uh, in Liverpool. Elaine Knight in Denver, Colorado. Uh, lovely to have you here. A Hood, is it? A Hood in Illinois. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, William Collins, Liz from Buxton, Derbyshire. Started doing this in lockdown. Thanks so much. It helps my balance. Good to hear. Hello from Greece to Effie. Hello, Effie in Greece. Lovely to have you. Uh, okay, just going down. My goodness, there's so many people live still. It's amazing. Uh, Janet Nolan, missed you this morning. Great to have an afternoon session. I'm in Northern Ireland, not the US. Reassuring to see even you having a wobble. I know that feeling only too well. Yes, and I do wobble. And that's why I hope when I wobble and I laugh, you kind of get it that, you know, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm doing my best. Uh, with my body and with all the knowledge I have. I mean, I've been dancing since I was three, so that's 53 years now, uh, 53 years of kind of movement and exercise. I try and draw on all of that to give you these sessions. So, yes, and I always have a, the odd wobble. So there we go. Um, okay, Mary Taylor. Hello, Mary. Margaret Boland. Uh, you feel stretched and I have a great voice. Well, thank you, Margaret. That's very nice indeed. Uh, Cheryl, Cheryl from Savannah. Oh, isn't that a great name? Cheryl from Savannah. Um, that sounds very nice. Savannah, where is Savannah? Is that 
Texas way. I'm really sorry, my geography uh, isn't great of the States, but Cheryl says, love, love, love this new time. Please continue. I love your spirit, your patience, and your kindness. Thank you so much. Well, Cheryl from Savannah, you are very welcome. And yes, I will definitely do this again. Uh, da, da, da. Um, Wendy Wendy from Ontario, really looking for a standing yoga exercise practice. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. That wasn't yoga. It was kind of Pilates and dance, I would say. Certainly a lot of that stuff I used to do when I was dancing 20, 30 years ago. But I hope you enjoyed it. All right. So coming down, I want to say a big thank you, Sarah Taro. Hello, everyone. Just started following from today from Essex in the UK. Sarah. Hello, Sarah in Essex in the UK. Well, it's lovely that you found me. Great to have you here. And you know what? What I do want to say, everyone, is go check out all my live streams. I've been doing a free lockdown class for six months since the lockdown in the UK started. And every single one of those is a different workout. And they're all like this, they're live. So if I fall over, I fall over. If I giggle, I giggle. It's kind of what you see is what you get with me. So um, they're kind of fun to tune in and go and do a workout when you want a half an hour or something. So do go and check those out. All right, my lovely friends, I'm going to have to sign off now uh, because time is up. I'm so sorry I can't stay any longer, but I've got to get on to, believe it or not, my last session of the day, my last private session. So I wanted to say thank you so much for coming. Do keep sending your messages because I will read the chat afterwards. Um, and I do always read my messages on YouTube. I can be slow to respond. It's only because it is just me and I try and write everything personally. So I'm about a thousand messages behind at the moment. So please forgive me, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. And yes, let's do this again, shall we? I will have a look at my diary. I will have my operation on Monday. I will be back live two weeks today in the morning and I will look at scheduling in another 4.30 tea time Pilates and chat for everyone who's overseas and can't make it in the morning. All right, so just want to say thank you so much. I love you all. Do look after yourselves, all right? Keep your spirits up and uh, we will, everyone, we will get through this together. All right, so take care of yourselves and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Take care.